Hey guys, this is Carnage, I'm here for uh, Royal Flush Gaming HD, and I've come to you with a Battle for Zendikar Fat Pack. Now, before we start opening this, I'm going to show you the contents. We have a player's guide with encyclopedia, the card box, 9 booster packs, 80 card basic land packs, a spin down life counter, and 2 deck boxes. And... The summary for this time is Return to the Wild Plain of Zendikar, where the monstrous Eldrazi threaten the entire world with destruction. The plain's inhabitants, and even the land itself, stand united to oppose them. Answer the call and join the battle for Zendikar. So, with that, we are going to open this box and see what we have. I prepared some scissors, because earlier I was giving me some sass. And I don't like that. Now, when I was looking at the cards in this, it was really looking good for my current deck, which is a white and black, also known as the Plains and Swamps. And so, I was looking forward to getting this, just so I could look for Gideon. So, there's the picture again. Um... We got a uh, nice, whoops, get that. Yeah, so we got a, a nice player's guide here with a picture. And uh, so let's open this puppy. All right, so pull these out. Here's our uh, basic lands and booster packs here. Um, or two deck boxes. One has this guy, and uh, the other has Gideon. Focus in on that. Yeah, there. So, here's some more booster packs and that die that we were promised. So, let's get down to business. I'll move this out of the way, and we're going to go straight to the action. After I move all this stuff to the floor. We're tied on space, so hope you can stay with me. All right. So here's our die. Looks pretty good. Um. All right. Here's our pack. All right. So. In our uh, first pack, we got 15 cards. We have uh, Voracious Null, Reclaiming Vines, Mist Intruder, Myers Malice, Fortified Rampants, Nettle Drone, Ghostly Sentinel, Benthic Infiltrator, McKendy Slide Runner, Smite the Monstrous, Serene Steward, Rot Shambler, Titan's Presence, Smoldering Marsh, and then Mountain and Core Ally. So that's for the first pack. Let's move on to the second one. Now I'm hoping we can get a Planeswalker at least of any sort. That would be nice. But if we don't, that's just our luck. So, in this one we have Swarm Surge, Call of the, Call of the Scions, Merc Strider, Voracious Knoll, Boiling Earth, McKindy Patrol, Valakur Invoker, Courier Griffin, Benthic Infiltrator, Touch of the Void, Hagra Sharpshooter, Undo Rising, Pilgrim's Eye, Brood Butcher, Swamp, and the Eldrazi Scion. And uh, we have a reference card here. Just so you can see that. Whoop. I almost let that slip. So, in this, we have a Human Shaman, Oron Rife Invoker, Brilliant Spectrum, Inspired Charge, Reckless Cohort, Cloud Manta, Sandstone Bridge, Taijuru Beastmaster, Demon's Grasp. Skyline Cascade, Transgress the Mind, Cryptic Cruiser, 
blighted woodland, veteran war leader, vestige of Imarakul. And uh, I noticed that this has no color, so that's nice. And uh, island, and then we have an elemental. So we go to the next one. There are a lot in here. I may have to just go and open the rest of these and just fast forward, which I think I'll do right now. But uh, I'll leave you first with uh, this Merc Strider, which is a Eldrazi processor. See you in a bit after I've opened all these packs. So welcome back. Um, we've opened all our cards now, and I found the basic lands, and I must say I love this artwork. It's just magnificent and really cool. So that was a plus in this. So we'll go into our next stack, which is the Coral Home Guide. Their Nirkana Assassin, a Kite Sail Scout, which this is actually a pretty good cost for a flying creature in my terms for light. Um, Reckless Cohort, Evolving Wilds, always want one of these. A Silent Skimmer. Now, I do like this, except um, it has no power, which kind of sucks, but it's okay. Rush of Ice, Natural Connection, Unnatural Aggression. Geyser Field Stalker. Now, I do like the fact that it has Menace and Landfall, but if you had the Haste card, it would be perfect with this. Um, so we have Ondu Rising, and whenever a creature attacks its turn, it gains Lifelink. That's really useful. Um, then we have Marasu Ranger, Blighted Cataract. Um, Serpentine Strike, Plains, Eldrazi Scion, Coral Helm Guide again, Nirkana Assassin again, and another Invoker. Felidar Cub, which it allows you to destroy an enchantment, which I always love. Goblin Warpaint, Grey Birthing, Eyeless Watcher, Eldrazi Devastator, and this is one of those eight neutral cards that has Trample on it, and it's an eight nine creature, love it. Waywing Elemental, Fertile Thicket, Turn Against, which I love gaining control of an opponent's monster, Blood Bond Vampire, Blighted Step, Bring to Light, Swamp, Eldrazi Scion, Scavenge Drone, Swarm Sturge, Color Scions, Volcanic Upheaval, Stonehaven Medic, um, Natural Connection, Tightening Coils, Eldrazi Devastator, Demon's Grass, Looming Spires, Rolling Thunder, Roll Spout, Bane of the Balagod, Munda, Mountain, and then we have an emblem. So we had a couple of technical difficulties, but I'm back to finish the video. Um, what happened is I ran out of space, and so I had to go delete some stuff real quick to get this rest on. So, to finish off, um, we have Royal Mage's Trick, we have Swarm Surge again, Boiling Earth, Lithomancer's Focus, Scour from Existence, which I am going to put this card in my deck. It's 7 cost of neutral and exile target permanent. That's really nice. Grave Birthing, Broodhunter Worm, Spell Shrivel, Complete Disregard, Core Entanglers, Deathless Behemoth, Halimar Tidecaller, Part the Water Veal, Valakut Invoker, and this is one of those hollow cards I like. This is really nice. Um, forest, and then we have an elemental. We have a salvage drone. A Calistria healer, which this will also go in my deck just because it's pretty good. Um, blister pod, stonehaven medic, gain a life by paying one light and tapping. That's nice. I really like that card. Tajuri Beastmaster. And this rallies, it's nice. Um, Wavewing Elemental again. Evolving Wilds, always love those. Silent Skimmer. Now, once again, don't like that it has zero power. Um, Rush of Ice. Marasa Ranger. Skyrider Elf, which this would looks like it would go good in an elf deck just because of the flying and the converge that it has would aid benefit to the rest of the deck because then they can't hit you slab hammer 
Um, whenever a creature attacks, you may return a land you control to its owner's hand. If you do, the creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. And I like that. Acom Hill Kite. Hedron Archive. Now, this, I was looking at this for a good while. I like this. You add tap it and you add two to your mana pull. And this is an artifact. It costs four. And then if you sacrifice it by paying two and tapping it, sacrifice it, draw two cards. Which, that was actually really cool. We have Island in a core ally. Then we have the Merc Striders. Voracious Knoll. Shatter Skull Recruit. Um, so, we had to fo- relocate again because of technical difficulties. Yay. And we'll finish up um, if I can focus these cards. Alright, so. We have the Lithromancer's focused, and. Oh my god. <sighs> Target creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. Prevent all damage. That would be dealt to that creature this turn by colorless sources. We have our uh, Mortary Murr. Serene Steward. When you gain life, you may pay white. If you do, put a 1 1 counter on target creature. Um, Alright. Rising Miasma. All creatures get minus 2, minus 2 until end of turn. Waken 3. Royal Spout. Blight Herder, Island, and Core Ally. Um, and then that card earlier that fell was Eldrazi Sky Spawner. It's devoid and has flying, which is cool. So, once again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'm uh, sorry for all the technical difficulties we had, but I hope you can uh, leave a comment, likes, even subscribe if you really liked it and you want more magic. But, uh, yeah. Thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, my name's Carnage, and I hope you have a nice night. So, enjoy.